What is up guys, Mystic7 here. Now before today's video starts, I need to explain some stuff because it's gonna be a confusing video if I don't. Today was a big day because today was the legendary Pokemon migration. We're gonna talk about that right here at that time point. So if you guys wanna skip through all this stuff and just wanna learn about the legendary migration, that's the time you gotta go to. But today's video is basically the struggle of me trying to get back to America because remember how we struggled getting to Paris? The same thing happened getting back to America. So we had kind of a fun struggle in today's video. Also, there's not much or any Pokemon Go content in today's video, but tomorrow's video coming out on the channel at around 12.30 PST will be my favorite, my personal favorite video from the entire France trip. So make sure tomorrow to tune in and check that out. And today, watch my struggle, have fun and laugh at me as I, you know, fail to get back to the US and learn about the new legendary migration that happened today. But that's today's video. Enjoy it. We'll see you later. Well, today is our last, well, this morning is our last morning in France. We are heading back to the U.S. today, and I'm going to finish today and this trip off with croissants, some cheese, and some ham. Two croissants, actually. I might go back for a third and or a fourth, because after this, I'm, like, super dieting. I gained a lot of weight on, not a lot, but I gained weight on this trip, eating all the crepes. Well, our flight's at about noon, and then we land in Washington, same airport we left from around, I want to say, 2, 3 o'clock their time. Uh, and then we land back in LA at 7.30, so it's gonna be a long, long travel day. But I'm gonna enjoy my last little uh, breakfast here in France. Goodbye, France. I love you. I'm curious. I bought a bottle of wine for my family because my family wanted a bottle of wine from France. Can I bring this across the border, or are they gonna arrest me at the border? I don't know. We've been sitting in the airplane waiting to take off for almost two hours now. United? Suck me. One hour two and a half in the plane, although getting some work done, so that's good. Watched a little bit of Game of Thrones, ate a muffin, uh, hour two and a half, which means I missed my connecting flight. When we flew to France, same thing happened. Flight delayed, missed a connecting flight, had to spend 24 hours in Chicago. We're not spending 24 hours in Washington. Washington, love you guys. I need to get back home tonight because I need to be home tomorrow. Oh my gosh, man. Well, next time I point this at the window, we're taking off, I promise. Uh, the, gate area. Thank you. the flight was canceled after three and a half hours of being delayed. Are you serious? I was just joking about wanting to stay in Paris another day. I was kidding. I didn't want it to actually happen. Well, um, looks like we're staying here probably in a hotel or getting on a very late flight and really screwing up my sleep schedule, which is already destroyed. So I'm not too worried about that. But uh, flight delayed. We're now leaving today. <laughs> United, why? So now what, you might wonder. For one, we're gonna go pick up our bags, which is ridiculous. And for two, we're gonna see if we can get a flight back to the US tonight. And if not, then we're gonna spend an extra night in France, just in the airport, and go back home early tomorrow morning, which is horrendous. So, uh, shout out to United. I don't think I'm ever gonna fly them again for this trip, because remember the same thing happened coming to Paris. How does it happen two times in one trip? That's ridiculous. Okay, let's get our bags. It has since been over four hours since you saw me grab my bag from the plane. Actually, no, that's a lie. It's been about three hours since then. I sat on the plane. The plane was delayed as we sat there for three hours. Then we were told the plane was canceled, so we all got off the plane and went to get our bags. The bags took like 20, 25 minutes to get there. Oh, what just happened? The lights went off, and then I actually walked about 20 minutes to the wrong, walked with both bags, 20 minutes to the wrong terminal, realized that I was at the wrong place, and then I had to walk all the way back, and then stood in the line for about an hour and a half to two hours, waiting to get 
this room for tonight and my tickets for tomorrow, and I finally got that. And then waited for the shuttle for a cool 20 minutes, and then now we're here at the hotel, and I'm losing my mind. United's been like one of my favorite airlines to fly, you guys probably know that from the videos. After this trip, we got, <sighs> coming to Paris, we got delayed a full day in Chicago, and I had to spend the night at an airport in Chicago. Now, trying to get back to the US, the same thing happened. Oh, by the way, I'm in an overbooked flight for tomorrow back to San Francisco, which means that I might not get a spot on that plane. I don't know if I will ever fly United again after this trip. This has been ridiculous. It's a nightmare. Well, I'm gonna go to the restaurant. I'm gonna get a burger, a glass of wine, and finish yesterday's video or the video you saw two days ago. I don't know when I uploaded it. And yes, I said wine. It's legal here. See you guys in the morning. I was supposed, I was supposed to turn the lights off. The next clip you see better be me taking off. Our next flight to Los Angeles boards in 15 minutes. We gotta drop these off at security, go through security, and get on the plane. Let's try to get there. Thank you very much. Got it, sir. Six minutes. Two minutes. No, one minute. <laughs> We made it. We're actually going home today. <laughs> nice. My God! Well, that was a struggle and a half, but we're back. Oh my gosh, that was the, oh, my contact. Oh no, oh, here we go. Where'd my contact go? It's in my eye. That's, okay, this is why contacts suck. We're back. That was the biggest struggle I've ever had with airports and planes and flying, both getting there and getting home, but we got home and we have some news to talk about. As I was in San Francisco, the official Legendary Pokemon migration happened and also I'm sorry for the lack of po there was zero Pokemon Go content in this video And I actually haven't logged in in two days, so it's not a lot of Pokemon happening right now Tomorrow's video though as I said in the beginning tomorrow's video will be insanely good for everything So make sure to check that out But today is just like we got home and news video So now for all of you guys who do not know the legendaries they're officially they've migrated. They have gone to different regions in the world, and as you guys know, I was in France catching Entei, and the Pokemon that migrated here to America is Entei. I figured that would happen. That's just my luck. I'll have a screen, a picture on screen right now of the legendary map. Uh, we got Entei in the States. We've got Raikou actually out in the Australia regions, and Suicune has made its way into Europe, which is hilarious because I literally missed Suicune by about 12 hours. <laughs> It's not like I could have raided it anyways at the airport, but like still. Now that's where the legendaries have migrated to. Let me know in the comments if you guys got the legendary that you wanted to come to your location. If it came to your location, congratulations. Good luck catching it. And to everybody else who's going to get a new Pokedex entry for this migration with the triple XP, good luck on that. Get out there and grind it. Also, congratulations to all the new Mewtwo owners. I've gotten a ton of tweets today and yesterday of people who got the Mewtwo because EX raid passes are going everywhere for everyone. Not really everywhere for everyone. I still haven't done one since Japan, so I'm still waiting for my EX Raid Pass, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are too, but congratulations to those who did get one and do have Mewtwo, and congratulations to everybody who gets a new Legendary today or sometime this week when you guys get around to raiding it. But uh, I'm gonna sign off for today because uh, my head is killing. Everything aches and hurts. I wanna take a shower, I wanna go eat, and then I wanna chill tonight. I already have tomorrow's video completely done, completely edited, and honestly, it is my favorite video from the entire France trip, so make sure to check that out. That's gonna be on the channel tomorrow, and uh, as for today, we're back in the United States. We're back in Los Angeles. We're back in the office. Where's Mystic? We're back with Mystic. We're back with Pseudo Wudo. 
It's good to be home and then in about eight days from now we'll be driving to the Bay Area, spending about three weeks up there, coming back down to Los Angeles and then three weeks from then we'll be going to Australia and then coming back to Los Angeles and then two weeks, Hawaii. It's gonna be a busy year, but uh, for today's trip, we're, we're ending it. So, see you guys later and we're home.